You have been charged with a serious crime, citizen. I will be your judge. I'm, I'm doing the smarmy lawyer guy, right? I'd like to offer you my services for your defense. You need me. Only 250 credits in advance. He's right. You need a lawyer. You're in big trouble, citizen. And... Yeah. It doesn't really do any good to pay the lawyer. He'll... Just jump up and demand maximum penalty. Which doesn't really seem to change anything. So... Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. But, um, might as well so show that once. Wise choice. You won't regret it. How does the defendant plead? Guilty, Your Honor. Defendant requests the death penalty for his crime. Hmm. That's one great lawyer. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well. I really, I really don't think it matters what you say here either. I think your response is completely irrelevant to the actual court proceedings. Yeah. I guess the lawyer so figures that if if the client is dead, they can't, well, demand uh, restitutions. Yeah, or refund. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go with this. You call yourself sure. a lawyer? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The court finds the defendant guilty. A fine of 500 credits will be deducted from the defendant's bank account. Um, ah, I'm sorry, I've learned the error of my ways and I'll never do it again. You are free to go, citizen, but do not try to leave Chiba City. If I remember right, this court proceeding is exactly the same each time, it's just the, the sentence that is different from one yeah. to another. Move along, citizen. This is sort of like working in an office. People only talk to you when you've done something wrong. We said we would never do that again, let's go and do it again. So I don't really see what's wrong with chatting up with some lady at a photo development parlor. I never quite understood that either, why we get arrested just for going into the place, because then shouldn't she be arrested since she's also in the building? Greetings, cowboy. What service may I perform for you today? Some more info? You just bought yourself some info, cowboy. The banking center is on the Freeside Orbital Colony, but the link number for the Bank of Zurich is Bozo Bank. Hmm. Now, whatever would we want to have to do with... Um Swiss bank. Oh, those Swiss banks are not good for anything. Yeah, I have no idea. I have more info if you have more money. Look out. It's the Labot again. <laughs> well, she sounds like this is nothing new. And where's the Labot? He never shows up. Somehow he invisibly transports us to this court. You have been charged with a serial blah 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 blah. <clears throat> well, it's about all the useful information we can get out of her, so let's 
rewind time and space a little. Through the magic of computers? Yes. Is there anything computers can do? Apparently you can't develop your photographs in this game. That's that's kind of a drag. I have lots of negatives that I wanted to uh that I wanted to get developed. Hmm. Well but now we don't well our case doesn't have any negatives, so I guess well that's alright with him. Ooh, shins. Not to be confused with chin who runs runs the body shop. Yeah, or that guy Femur who runs the other pawn shop. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. No, not really. Well, it said we had pawned the deck here, so let's go <coughs> give this guy a, a visit. Ooh, okay. You're wrong. Shin's pawn shop is filled with odd looking chunk that nobody wants due to their respective display shelves by time and dirt. The smell of raw fish that's in from a nearby sushi store. Not that I think of it, we never see the sushi store in question. Shin eyes you with a mixture of hope, greed and suspicion. Ah, you're back! I have your deck! So, why are you in such a rush to give me my deck back? <coughs> your decks give away good customer, no more favor! Mm, nah, I don't want. I don't have the cash right now. I'll come back later. Besides, I wouldn't want a piece of junk anyway. Oh, hmm, come to think of it, the throwing stars here might be a small note at the book. Do you, rem do you remember that? Um, I honestly don't remember throwing stars in the book. Um, was that when they were doing the, the run on the, uh, oh, I can't, yeah, um, faintly, yeah, I, I must, it's, yeah, it's, well. It's I'm sorry, I've lost it. Not such a big deal. Case just uh, fairly early into book spots some uh, throwing a uh, throwing star at some uh, display window and picks it up and carries it around basically. Mm -hmm. Doesn't use it for anything. What? I know one deck. Here, take deck now, no charge. Go away. Was handy. Okay, pal, I'll go away and I'll tell all my friends about this wonderful place. And the game automatically dumps you back and Shins closes down shop after you leave. Which Hmm, I'm not sure if that makes any sense. He said the dick scares away customers, but then he closes up right after he gets rid of the thing that scares away customers. Yeah, well, it doesn't really make for good business if you lock your customers out of your shop, but oh well. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, well, it doesn't show it completely, but it's a cheap hotel. And also, kind of weird that hotel would advertise itself so explicitly as cheap. Oops. Um, hmm. That was the first part of thin laminate matting that rattles in the wind, fight fiberglass coffins, <coughs> line to roam, static like surplus, Godzilla teeth. That's an interesting metaphor. The coffin is number 92, 3 meters long with an oval hatch at the end. And the management kicks you out for unpaid deals. Did you ever, um, do you suppose there's any significance to that number 92, or do you suppose it's just a completely random number that just, just 
this like I'm just wondering if there's any reason why they picked that number or I can't think of anything. Probably just a random number then. Yeah. It's another place. Big G and I'll have to tell here but it says loser diagonally there. Gentleman loser. <coughs> Are you sure it's not gluzer, as in somebody who likes to glue things together? Uh, maybe it's glue sniffers. That would that would fit actually. The air smells of perfume and fast food in the gentleman loser box circle to neon signs. This is hung up for showboys and cowboys who haven't yet made the big score. It's quiet right now with only one customer, a woman named Chiba. <coughs> hey, Geek, come here. I got something for you. 